Hi, for this video what I want to do is show you how to find the critical value for a t interval and for this one I am going to use a table. All right, so in order to find the critical value, uh, you would have to know your level of confidence and your sample size. So the textbook that I currently use, uh, that I currently teach from, they use TC to represent the critical value. Some other textbooks might use T star or a different notation. So if that confuses you, just know that this is the one that I use in my current textbook. Okay, so in order to find this, we have to find our level of confidence. So we would rewrite this as a decimal, 90% would be 0.9. And then we have to find our degrees of freedom. So our degrees of freedom is always our sample size minus one. So in this case, if I do 20 minus one, I would get 19. So then what I would do is I would go to my table. I would find my level of confidence at the top. So we get 0.9. And then I would come down to my degrees of freedom, 19. And I would go across this row here and we would just look in there and we find 1.729. Okay, so that's my critical value for the first one. All right, so let's look at the next one. Our next one is 98% confidence. So this time we would do 98% confidence, which is 0.98. And our degrees of freedom would end up being 15 minus one, which is 14. So we would go to the 14 here and we'd go across this row until we get to the correct column and we can see that it's 2.624. All right, and then the last one that we're going to find is we're gonna look for 99% confidence when n equals 17. So again, our 99 would be 0.99. Our degrees of freedom would end up being 16. So I would look at the row for 16 and I would come down my column for the 0.99, which is the last one. And we can see that it ends up being 2.921. I find um, that finding the critical values for T are a lot easier than finding the critical values for the normal distribution using a table unless you find your Z scores using the T table, it makes it easier. This is one of those things that you will have to be able to find in order to build the confidence interval. The critical value is what helps us find the margin of error. As always, thanks for watching. If you have any questions, please let me know. If there are additional topics you would like for me to cover, please let me know that as well.